Hi everyone, in front of me I have this Vivo V23 smartphone and in this video I would like to show what are the best display settings that you can possibly change on this device. So in order to start you just gotta open up the settings app, here look for the display and brightness and here we are. So the first setting is the brightness level that you can manually regulate and it basically just changes the brightness um, level of your display and you can also change the adaptive brightness which basically just uh, automatically regulates the brightness uh, of your display according to the ambient lighting that you have around you. Next we have the eye protection feature which will uh, which once activated just uh, filters out the blue light and uh, makes all the colors on your display warmer so if you are experiencing uh, a high eye fatigue level or your eyes are like tired in general we highly recommend that you go ahead and enable this eye protection function. Next we have very standard thing to have is the dark mode or is it called in here dark theme which basically just uh, changes the color scheme uh, of your device of the interface and makes it dark. Next we have screen timeout setting which basically uh, sets the time after which your screen will turn off automatically if uh, any actions are taken. Uh, so basically if your phone is in idle mode uh, we can choose uh, different values starting from 15 seconds up to the 10 minutes. Next we have auto rotate screen which once enabled just rotates the display alongside uh, the phone itself. So once you put the phone into the horizontal mode, the display will uh, rotate accordingly or if you put it back to the uh, portrait mode, the display will enter the portrait mode as well. Next we have screen colors. So here we are able to alter, choose and configure the color scheme of our device. We have standard color modes, uh, presets, so standard, professional, bright and we have the preview of them on this picture with very colorful fruit palette. I'll just leave it at standard. You can manually regulate the color temperature, so either make the colors warmer or make them as cold as it as humanly possible. I'll just leave it somewhere here. Or you can just set the default values. Next we have the font size, which basically just allows us to increase the font size uh, of the text, the text size that we'll uh, have while using the interface of this device. I'll just leave it at the default value. The font style, so we gotta agree on some terms. First, choose the fonts, press on apply, and after that the new font will be successfully applied. And as you can see there is this uh, button on the bottom of your uh, screen which stands for download more and once tapped you'll uh, get to the library of uh, various fonts that you can uh, install and set up for your device. So that was it for the font style. Let me get back to the display settings real quick. Next we have the display size which basically just enlarges the visuals and icons and makes them bigger. I'll just leave it at a standard value. Uh, then we have this status bar, which just one side, you, you can like choose different values, for example, icons, numbers, or none in general. As you can see, there is none information over here, or you can just tap on numbers or icons of the notifications that you have received. You can also enable the display of the real-time network speed or enable uh, the battery uh, to be displayed in the persons. So uh, once enabled you will see how much the battery you have left uh, in the form of the percentage. Next we have the screen saver. So once enabled, as you can see, uh, it will display the clock or you can set it up to the night mode for example. Choose its style, the clock style, analog clock or digital. And here you can choose the scenario that will initiate the uh, screen saver. Here we can either set it up to while charging, while docked 
while charging our duct or network. Next we have the screen refresh rate, which basically just stands for the smoothness level of animations and overall visual experience. Uh, we can choose from either 60Hz or 90Hz as per the refresh rate. Uh, at, at smaller value you'll get uh, longer battery life, at higher value you'll get smoother animations and visuals. Or you can also choose the smart, with, smart switch, which basically just the automatic um, mode of the screen refresh rate uh, setting and it will uh, change the amount of hertz that you'll get according to the phone current condition and status so if you'll uh, be running low on the battery it will switch the refresh rate to 60 hertz if the battery will be sufficient it will just get you 90 hertz as per the refresh rate Next we have this full screen display of apps, which will basically uh, contain the list of the apps uh, that do not support the full screen uh, mode by default and in there you will be able to configure and set, it, set the full screen mode up for them. And the last setting that I wanted to show you in this video is display at top of the screen. Uh, so once enabled, um, once added, once you let some certain apps to this list, uh, they will be fitted to display in the top area of the screen right here. So for example, let's add Chrome. And here you can just um, choose what kind of a layout, what kind of a display it will uh, have. So whether this camera zone will look like this or it will completely hide the concave area or as it is set by the default you can just go with automatic fitting and uh, the layout will be chosen automatically by the app itself so that was it for this video thank you so much for watching uh, if you found this video helpful don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and bye bye